Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the prayer already expressed. We pray, O Lord, that you make us pure within, without, in Jesus' name. Baba, what in Belong, I do call on you for Adora to go get on you. Wanna ask him, baby, we pay care so what the mima nino at the Lord in your call Jesus. We know this is your desire for us, and this is our desire in you that you will be holy, will be pure, there will be no blemish, there will be no stain or spot in our hearts and our lives, so we can see you without any condemnation. Do it for us in Jesus' name. Oluwa wa ma wipe ele ini ani okan yi fun wa ba kan na o ni edu okan ti wa na ki a le je mimo pata pata lai si ale bu tabi aba won kokan ninu aye wa ele ti yo je ki o rorun lati ri ni ikeyin aye wa a n gbadura pe ki e se le fun wa ni oruko Jesu we know this is the most essential important thing in our lives so we'll be able to spend eternity with you at peace Therefore, Lord, we pray that you help us to abandon all distractions and have this important experience and maintain it in every one of our lives in Jesus' name. Ama we pe ele se pataki osi je kose mani ni noa yewa tori na oluwa angad right pe kia na walowo bobo kato man se kami 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 tio be moju wa kuro ni noa wan kwa yi ena walowo la ti moju wa kuro kia si na walowo. Help us, Lord, to put first things first in our lives. We pray, Lord, that this important thing will be our possession. In Jesus' name, we pray. Ni oruko Jesu ni agbadura. We're gathered once again today to study the Word of God together. The fact that you are here makes us to know that you know that the study of the Word of God is a backbone for the Christian. And I pray that the result and blessing of studying the word will be in your life and in my life as well in Jesus' name. Today we continue with the study in the epistle to the Hebrews. We're now in Hebrews chapter 12 and we're looking at verse 14. And in verse 14 it says, Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking at the verse itself, you know it is uh, captured in the language of a commandment. Follow peace with all men. It's says follow peace with all men and holiness. After giving us that imperative, that commandment, then he tells us the consequence of neglect of such an important commandment. It says, without which no man shall see the Lord. It tells us to follow peace and holiness now in the present, so that something in the future will become a reality in our lives. And then he tells us if there is a present neglect, there is going to be a future judgment. And he's telling us that we need to understand that this message of holiness and peace with all men is central and pivotal to the message of the whole Bible. 
long. O si fe ko ye wak bang bak pe oron ni kwa ti wa mi ma a ti a la fi a kwe lu gogwe ni yon. O nga ni a ni gogon ta bi o ko mu le ro isen a se wimi ma. And he tells us that the pursuit of peace and holiness that God requires will demand grace in our heart and the divine oppression in our hearts before it will be possible. O fi ye wak bang bak pe i le pa a la fi a ti wa mi ma e le ti o lu ambe ri lo wa wa. Obviously, he's telling us that we need the grace of God in our lives because both peace and holiness will not be possible for the natural man except there is the grace of God in the heart. Man is born with wickedness in the heart. And the Bible tells us concerning the natural man, the wicked man, the one that does not know God, that he does not have peace as well. If in Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 22, he says, There is no peace, says the Lord, unto the wicked. He does not have peace within himself because of the condemnation of his sins in his life. He does not have peace with God because God is against him because of the sins he has committed. Because of the nature of sin and the life of sin within him, he, do not, he does not know how to be at peace with his neighbor, his fellow man. But this man, now he hears the gospel of the Lord. And this gospel is called the gospel of peace. And basically the gospel of peace is telling him how he will come at peace through the Prince of Peace, the Lord Jesus Christ. As he repents, he responds to that gospel of peace, and he looks at the Prince of Peace, who is the one that is to set out as liberty and make peace with Almighty God. He becomes justified, and being justified by faith, we have peace with God. And it is the God of peace himself that sets him at liberty, that forgives all his sin. Condemnation is gone in the heart. Everything is now peaceful. All the storm within has calmed down. And because of that, he even wants to have peace now with his fellow man. And Luke chapter 10 verse 6 calls him, the son of peace. And he wants to do everything within his power to be at peace with his fellow man. And the apostle tells him that pursuit of peace will never end as long as you are surrounded by people that will not understand you, that will misinterpret you, that will even persecute you, that will even oppose you, there will be the threat to the peace. Therefore, all through your life, if you want to spend eternity with that God of peace, follow peace with all men. Apostle, 
Kaboto, Tori Be, Apostoli wa so wipe, ni gbogbo igba to ba je pe ile pa re ni pe yo ni alaafia pelu Olorun leyin aye a ma la kaka lati wa ni alaafia pelu omo eni keje But he says if you are going to see the Lord on the at the end peace with man that's just what your fellow man a God needs to also be satisfied with your life and the only way he can be fully satisfied in your life is that you have holiness therefore don't forget follow peace number 1 and follow holiness without which no man shall see the Lord be lo nje ko ye wi pe ni ni alaafia pelu eniyan iyen wa ni apakan o si le ro le apakan ko wa dorun ni keyin olorun fun rara re to n pe o sinu alaafia o n pelu igbe aye re gbodo te lorun kini yo si le mu inu olorun do ninu aye wa o ni iwa mimo nitori na ma le pa alaafia pelu gbogbo eni ati iwa mimo as we look at the verse we are looking at today there are three things that come out very clearly there bi a se wa nwo ese ti a nwo loni o meta lo je yo ninu ese na number 1 follow peace with all men akoko ni ma le pa alaafia pelu eni gbogbo you should be a person that loves peace that desires peace that pursues peace that wants to be at peace with everybody around you if if you are a child of God. On lati je eni ti o feran alaafia, eni ti npo kaka alaafia, eni to je pe akole kan re ni riwa ni alaafia pelu awon to wa laye kan re to ba joju lowo omo Olorun. Number 2 something that comes out in that verse it says follow holiness as well. O nkeji to je yo ninu ese yin ni pe ko to ma le pa iwa mi mo ba kan na. And then number 3 he now tells us without which no man shall see the Lord. Eketa lo wa so pe lai si eyi ni ko si eni ti yo ri oluwa. That come out, we're going to study number one desire for peace. Number two, diligence in holiness. Number three, determination to see the Lord, determination to see God. Let's look at number one in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Follow peace with. With all men. The word they follow here is said to pursue, to run after, to seek after, to make sure that you grab peace and you do not let it go and you're always surrounded by peace, peace within, peace without, peace around, peace with everybody that lives with you. Titi owo ore yo fi te ti o si ni fi aye gba lati kuro lodo re alaafia ninu alaafia lode alaafia ni aye ka re for the natural man for the person that does not know the lord strive is the normal thing contention is the normal thing argument debate fighting is the normal thing but when you come to know the lord there comes a radical change a transformation a conversion in your life and it's your dear letter and last article team or lower a guy you're to the bar of cooling why you're a so tabi a wuye wuye oni yo ma gbe da oro ke ni nu aye re sugbon ni gereti yi pada nla ele ti o nfara han to je gbogi to ba ti fara han ninu aye re iyi pada to dara yo sele ninu okan re when you are not born again there's something in your heart always wanting to wanting to find fault with the other fellow criticize the other fellow cut down the other fellow trample upon the other fellow fight with the other fellow overcome the other fellow there is no pursuit of peace for the one that does not know the law ti o ko ba ti mo oluwa rara ohun ti wa sa kiesi ti o ma je yo ninu aye re ipako nipako lo ma ri ohun ri tara re wa ma ri alebu awon elumiran wa ma sa wuye wuye pelu awon elumiran nitori e da it ni yi pada tin be ninu aye re there will be murmuring there will be complaint there will be fighting there will be strife kiko awa wi awuye wuye ati ja ni o ma gbe gba oroke ninu aye re but the moment you come to know the law so ba ni gara ti o ba ti wa mo oluwa it does find that there is a joy of the Lord and the peace of God and the desire to quarrel, the desire to fight, the desire to pull things apart, all that desire is gone. 
ati ile pa lati ma sa wa wi gbogbo ele ni o di awa ti you love the lord you love your fellow man you even love your enemies you pray for your persecutors you want to be at peace with everybody the the sin that wants to fight the sin that wants to destroy other people the sin that wants to debate and win that debate all that is gone you just want to follow the lord the prince of peace and you want the peace of god to reign in your heart and life wa se akiesi wi pe wa wa fero olorun wa fero omo ni keji re wa ti le fero awon ota re awon ti won se nu ni bi ni si owa ma gbadura fun won tori pe ohun to ma nfe binu ohun to ma nfe ja ohun to ma nfe ki elumiran ko subuko le de ni igbega gbogbo eleyi o ti di awa ti wa wa fero oluwa patapata but then you realize as you try to make peace with some people they are not born again yet they are opposed to the new way you have got they are opposed to the narrow path that leads to heaven they even criticize your religion and they want to fight although you don't want to fight anymore it becomes a problem now that although you are for peace they are for war they are for battle because of that now if you are not careful you will say i've tried my best i want to be at peace with them but they don't want to be at peace with me so i will let it remain like that he says no pursue it seek after it do everything you can do follow peace with all men sugba bi o tin la kaka lati sa ipa re lati wa ni alaafia pelu gbogbo eniyan je ko yi o wi pe a o le se awa ti awon eniyan kan to je pe ona tun tun to sese gba yi ona agbelebu to forile igbe aye oto ati esin tun tun to sese gba yi won yo tako won yo gbogun ti on to sin soko fa re ni pe iwo wa fun alaafia awon wa fun ogun awon wa fun ija sugbon o so pe ninu gbogbo re o le ka wo gbe rata bi ko so pe mo ti sa ipa mi to mo wa le gbesan ni sisin oni rara o ma le pa alaafia ni gbogbo oju aye re but as long as you are in christ the fruit of peace will be growing in your life sugbon bi o ba si wa ninu christi awon eso ti emi yo ma dagba ninu aye re it's like the tree that is planted and the roots are deep down although there is storm although there is a wind blowing although the sun is there and the rain is falling the fruit will be growing on that tree because it's deeply rooted in the ground se ni gbe aye re wa da bi gi ele to je pe o ta gbongbo lo sile to je pe ni gbogbo aye ka re lode lohun iji nja orun npa be ni opolopo nkan lo nse le si lode ara sugbon nitori po ni gbongbo ninu re eso yo ma so ninu igi yi bi o ti le ni opolopo wa la in galatians chapter 5 verse 22 galatia ori ka re se keji le logo the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace sugbon eso ti emi ni ife ayo alaafia opposition will come persecution will come criticism will even come and there will be people that will they are not easy to live with and they will try to make life inconvenient for you but as long as you are deeply rooted in Christ and you are still a child of God you are following peace with all men there will be the love of God there will be the joy of the Lord there will be peace in your heart and life that you daju idojuko ati atako o le dojuko aye re sugbon nitori pe o ti fi gbongbo mule awon eniyan won yi won le ma gbogun ti o ki won ma foru emi re ki won ma tako gbogbo igbe aye otun ti o n gbe nisinsin yi nitori pe o ti wa fi gbongbo mule ninu christi nitori na ife olorun aye olorun ati alaafi olorun yo ma je jade ninu aye re it is the presence of that peace in your life that makes you to know that salvation is still there i'm still rooted in christ i'm still related to christ because all these people are trying to make trouble but the evidence of salvation in my life is that the peace of god is still there and i'm doing my part although they are negative i am positive i want to maintain peace with my fellow man ifara ha alafia ninu aye re atokan re oni yo je ri gbe ogbangba wi pe igbala na si wa ni be bi o ti le je ri pe awon ti won wa laye ka re won foru emi re awon wa fun ogun iwo wa fun alaafia pelu ile pa lati wa ni alaafia pelu won ni yo fi olokan bale pe alaafia olorun ati igbala re nbe ni be luke chapter 1 verse 77 luke ori kin ni ese iket ese iketa din logorin so give the knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins lati fi lati fi mo igbala fun awon eniyan re fun imukuru ese won join that with verse 79 to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet in the way of 
peace. You see that when you are really born again, truly born again, you have got the salvation of the Lord, the forgiveness of your sin. He puts your feet in the path of peace. No more contention, no more strife, no more argument, uh, no more destruction of the lives of other people. You want to be at peace with everybody. Romans chapter 12 verse 18 Romans you say, you see, it says here, as much as it lies in you. If uh, any trouble comes, any contention comes, it doesn't originate with you. It doesn't continue because of you. You are not the one that is saying, no, there will be no peace. No, I don't want any peace. No, as much as it lies in your own power, whatever price you have to pay, you are at peace with all men. If if there is any trouble at all, it is coming from the other side. Nigba kigba, tiwa ala, kiwa ala basele. Tabia wuye wuye kan besile ni agbebe kan. Ki se lò do re lò ti je jade. Kode ma te si wadju la to wò re. A wan ni wan fa gò. Sugman, i wan la gò sa gò gò e pa re. La ti wà ni ala fi akwe lù gò gò e ni an. O ni bi o le se bi o ti wà ni pa re. You are born again, your husband is not born again, and he's always for quarreling and fighting as much as it lies in your power. Even if you have to be cheated, even if you have to be uh, trampled upon, even if you have to quietly suffer, as much as it lies in your power, be at peace with him. O sin gbi yanju lati fi aye ni on lara o mu on lati je ya ni idake je lai ibulai pariwo sibe sibe bi beli so wi pe ninu gbogbo nkan won yi bi o ti le se bi o ti wa ni pa re ma wa ni alaafia pelu gbogbo eniyan you living with somebody and this individual is like he doesn't want peace he wants to even do something that will irritate you, that will make you to say something negative, so that you can find a reason for you to start a quarrel as much as it lies in your power. Even if you are being cheated, you will do everything possible. That's the mark of salvation. That shows that you really know the Lord, you are deeply rooted in the Lord, as much as it lies in you, you will live peaceably with all men. <laughs> When it says all men, you understand, it's not difficult to live at peace with somebody who is always smiling, who is always caring, who is always kind, who is always considerate, who is always a loving, who is always giving you what you want, who will uh, take clean up the house, who will cook the food, who will do everything that you should have done, who is very, very helpful. Not difficult to be at peace with him, but somebody who is difficult, somebody who is cruel, somebody who is not considerate, somebody who does not even care for what concerns you as much as it lies in your power. You will be at peace, you will live peaceably with all such men. <laughs> Oh, there are times you are going to be cheated to maintain peace. 
If you're always saying, I claim my right, that is my right, I'm not a foolish Christian, I know my right, you'll not live at peace with everybody. I'm not an illiterate member of deeper life, I'm an educated, intelligent member of deeper life. You cannot do that to me, you know the Bible, I know the Bible. Why did you do that? This is my right. If you are like that, you'll never be at peace with everybody. The fact that I'm a Christian doesn't mean that you are going to take a cover from me. I know my right. This is the amount they are paying. Even though I can give that money and I don't lose anything, I will not give you. Just to prove to you that although I'm a Christian I didn't take foolishness with my Christianity. Five cobra will not remain with you. You will not go from here if you don't give that uh, five cobra. Because uh, holiness does not mean that we are stupid. I am not stupid although I'm in deeper life. My friend, if you are like that always claiming your right, you will never be at peace with people. <laughs> Look at the example of Abraham in Genesis chapter 13. Genesis chapter 13. And uh, what happened here is that the huntsmen of Lord, they were having some problem with the huntsmen of Abraham. And Abraham wanted to be at peace. He was the older person. He was the one that the Lord called. He was the one that the Lord had blessed. And Lord was a much younger person. It was out of the blessing of Abraham that the Lord gave a little to Lord. Lord, and Lot became prosperous. If you are talking about claiming the right, Abraham had all the right. My brother, you can claim your right and die. You are driving on the you are driving on the road. You are right. You are in the right lane. You see another person that is uh, coming in front of you. He is wrong. He shouldn't take that path. And he's and coming at full speed. He is on the wrong lane. You are on the right lane. Oh, I'm a Christian. I claim my right. I stand by my right. Let him drive in the wrong lane. I will not slow down. I will be going at full speed. I am claiming my right. The man you are claiming your right with is a drunkard. He doesn't know himself and is coming at you. You want to kill yourself. You should be cheated and preserve your life and go to the side of the road and let the madman pass by. You see a person that does not have salvation you see somebody that is going on his way to hell you see somebody that doesn't know Christ he doesn't have anything to lose it's already very near hell and you are on your way to heaven you have the Christ living within you you want to retain your eternal life and you see this madman you see this sinner and he's coming against you and you say I'm going to claim my right my friend the person you are claiming your right with is already on his way to hell why don't you uh, give him chance and let him pass by and maintain peace so that you can continue on your way to heaven. <laughs> 
ko ma Kristi ona orun rere ko ti esin kan to kan ni bayi o ti sun gere o ti fe dorun apadi iru eni abe to da be npe o n gbogbo ti daru ma lori se lo ye ko fa aye gba ki o le ni alaafia ki o le pe mi re mo iwo ni to ba fe gba eto re o le padanu emi re in genesis 13 verse 7 genesis ori keta lese ikeje and there was a strife between the herdmen of abram's cattle and the herdsmen of uh, lot's cattle and the canaanite and the perizzites dwell with them in the land there ni golo wa so siwa laarin awon daradan abram ati awon daradan lot ati awon ara kenani ati awon eniyan perisi n gbele na ni and abram said unto lot let there be no strife i pray thee between me and thee between thy herdsmen and the, the my herdmen and thy herdmen my thy herdmen for we are brethren abram o si wi fun lot pe emi be o ma se je ki gbolo won aso ki o wa laarin temi ti re ati laarin awon daradaran mi ati awon daradaran re nitori pe ara le awa se for e is not the whole land before thee separate thyself i pray thee from me if thou take the left you take the first one if you take the left hand i will go to the right or if thou depart to the right hand then i will go to the left he wasn't claiming his right he said i want peace at all costs you are younger i brought you out i brought you up i gave everything to you all that you have now you owe it to your coming after me but i will not claim my right you take whatever you want to take the remnant that remains i will take let there be no quarrel yara re kuro lodo mi bi iwo ba po si osi won sa kokko mu akokko bi iwo ba po si osi nje emi o po si otun tabi bi iwo ba po si apa otun nje emi o po si osi bo tile je pe iwo ni omo ti o kere ju mi lo gbogbo nkan to ti le so ko ni nipa ko o tele mi lo fi di eni ti o ni ni bayi emi o fe gbe to mi mo fe ki alaafia ko joba laarin wa mo nle pa alaafia because if we in the kingdom of god peace is one of the characteristics that will mark us out as children of the kingdom nitori pe awa ninu ijoba olorun alaafia o ni ami akoko ti yo bi ran pe awa ninu ijoba na in romans chapter 14 verse 17 rom ori kerin la ese iketa din logo romans chapter 14 verse 17 rom ori kerin la ese iketa din logo for the kingdom of god is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in the holy ghost peace in the holy ghost you see peace is one of the characteristics that were children of the kingdom because of that look at verse 19 let us therefore 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 because when the kingdom and the characteristics of the kingdom is uh, righteousness and peace and joy therefore let us follow after the things which make for peace and the things wherewith one may edify another <laughs> nje ni tori pe awa ni ni ijoba olorun ati pe awon ami ijoba olorun ni ododo alaafia ati ayo nje ni tori na ki awa ki o ma le pa ohun ti se ti alaafia awon ti ohun ti awon fi ma gbe ara wa ro hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 ebe ro ri keji la ise ikerin la follow peace with all men e ma le pa alaafia pelu eniyan gbogbo with your husband with your wife pelu oko re ati aya re with your difficult children with your parents pelu awon omo with your in-laws with your boss in the place of war with the leaders in the church and the people you are living with your landlord with the people who have offended you and the people that are making life difficult for you follow peace with all men in this verse 14 it says follow peace with all men then it says and holiness 
That leads us to the second point, which is diligence in holiness. I told you that the word follow is a kind of active word. In the Greek, it means you pursue. It means you are, you are aiming at that thing, you are desiring that thing, you are running after that thing, you want to possess that thing by all means. And the verse is telling us that even when you come to peace with all men, that is not enough. You don't stop there. You have not come to the end of the road. Make sure that even when you have got peace with all men, there is this holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Obviously, if you understand the structure of this sentence very well, the holiness is talking about here is after you are born again. And the verse is not talking to sinners at all. And there is no way that a sinner can be at peace with all. Men. There is no way a backslider can be at peace with all men. The nature of the devil in the heart of the sinner is not a nature that is seeking peace with everybody. But it is when you are justified by faith in Christ, through Christ, then you are peace with God. And it says to those who are already born again, those who are children of God, they are the people now that the apostle is saying, now you are born again. Now you are following the prince of peace. Now the God of peace has given you peace. Now you are even a child in the kingdom. And one of the characteristics of the kingdom is peace. Therefore, now that you are born again, follow peace with all men. Apostoli wa sope ni sisi ye ti oti wa ba la fi akwade. Ati da olare ni pase kristi oti wa ni ala fi akwe lu oloron. Oloron ala fi ati fo ni ala fi a. Kristi pa akpa oma la di ala fi a omba egbe. Ni sisi ye ti oti wa woni joba na. Ma wa and it's also saying that after you are born again there is still another sin you are living at peace with all men that's not enough that's very good but not enough you will follow holiness as well but again you need to understand when it says follow that is pursue it's not talking about a hunter that pursues an animal and never gets that animal, never catches that animal. It says you follow so you can get it. You follow peace, you pursue peace, you aim at peace, and you live at peace. You get it. In the same way you follow holiness, you pursue holiness, you seek after holiness, you pray, you consecrate, so that you can have this holiness and you get it. Actually, the commandment of the Lord is that His children should be holy. In First Peter chapter one verse fifteen verse sixteen. First Peter chapter one verse fifteen. First Peter chapter one verse fifteen. But as He which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation because it is written be ye holy for i am holy peter kini ori kini esa ike do go sugba gaga bi eni ti o pe yin ti je mimo be eni ki eyin si je mimo ninu iwa yin gbogbo nitori ati ko pe e je mimo nitori eni emi je mimo you see here is talking to those who are already born again in verse 14 as 
obedient children. You're already born again by the grace of God. Now there is something in front of you. There is something ahead of you. Pursue it until you catch it, until you get it. Follow peace with all men and holiness. In Romans chapter 6 verse 22 It says but now Being made free from sin Will ye be and become the servants of God Ye have your fruit unto holiness And the end everlasting life for you to you need to understand what is meant by holiness and uh, you need to have a balanced understanding of the word of God before you came to the Lord before you were born again there was no holiness at all you were sinful all you had will be filthy rags of self-righteousness and then you become born again when you are born again your sins are forgiven the condemnation the guilt is gone if any man be in Christ a new creature all things are passed away and behold all things have become new fornication is gone idolatry is gone adultery meeting other people's wife or husband all that is gone being abusers of themselves with mankind homosexuality all that is gone stealing all that is gone covetousness drunkenness is gone going to nightclubs and reviling all that is gone extortion that is gone in living a life that is a cheating other people that is fraudulent once you are born again all those evil things are gone away from your life and that is a kind of holiness therefore when you are born again the moment you are born again there is a level there is a measure there is an appearance of holiness in your life and yet there is still a level of holiness a depth of holiness a nature of holiness the very nature of God that you want to be a partaker of his holiness now although you are born again and there is holiness in your life now you are no more like you used to be yet there is another holiness you are reaching after that's the experience of sanctification before men you are holy but before God there is something he sees in your heart that he still needs to remove before you become holy in his presence in Luke chapter 1 verse 75 let's see read it from verse 74 that he will grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him not before man before him all the days of our life. Therefore, 
ati ni ododo ni waju re ki se ni waju eniyan ni waju re ni ojo aye wa gbogbo and the question in many hearts is that it is not possible to be totally holy entirely holy completely holy perfectly holy within you are holy without already if you are born again outwardly is it possible to be fully completely entirely holy within ibere ti nje agudugudugudu ni gbogbo okan o ni pe nje le wa se se bi o lati ni pipe olorun mimo olorun ninu okan iya ni pe leyin igba ta de ni igbala o ti ni mimo kan na sugbon ka mo ninu patapata ti olorun nbere nje yen se se it's possible because we have the testimonies of other people who had been purified who had been sanctified who had been made holy by the lord himself by the cleansing of the blood of the lamb o se se nitori atiri akosile awon kan awon to je pe olorun ran won lowo nipase je odu agutan ti a so won di mimo funfun lau first thessalonians chapter 2 and in verse 10 thessalonica kini ori keje ese ikewa first thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10 thessalonica kini ori keje ese ikewa and witnesses and god also how holyly and justly and unblameably we have behaved ourselves among you that believe eyin si ni ele eri ati olorun pelu bi awa ti wa laarin eyin ti o gbagbo ni mimo iwa ati ni ododo ati ni ailegan here paul the apostle says as for the outward form of holiness you are witnesses you know how we lived among you ni ni apostle so wi pe nipa ati mimo lode o eyin fun ra ra yin eleri ni eri pe amo lode patapata as for inward holiness god is witness also how holyly justly um blamably we behaved ourselves among you ni pa ti wa mimo ti ti nu lohun ko Olorun ni eleri bi awa ti wa laarin yin eyi ti o gbagbo ni mimo iwa ati le ododo ati ni ailegan That's the purpose of the coming of Christ he wants to bring us into total conformity with himself and when you go to the Lord it's possible for him to purify you and make you holy as you ought to be Idi ti Jesu Oluwa se wa saye yen gan ni yen pe ki a le ni iru iwa mimo ti re ni pe ni gba ti o ba to wa agbara nbe ni ikawo re lati je ki o mo patapata we're not talking about people that are giving some dry testimonies of holiness and sanctification a o wa ma so nipa ti awon to je pe eri won o ge o gbe ju igi to titi na jo tan lo there are some people that give testimony even of salvation they will say nineteen such and such i was saved and they are stealing and they are committing adultery and are committing fornication and they are living the kind of life you will say you of all people say you are saved they still keep on to that testimony they still keep on to that date they say at this particular time the pastor preached and something happened i gave my life to the lord but presently they are living in sin that one is a kind of testimony that doesn't hold any water because the reality is not there the same with sanctification there are people that are saying well praise the lord that is such and such I was saved not in such and such I was sanctified not in such and such I was baptized in the Holy Ghost and today you can see the irritation in them you can see the anger in them you can see the kind of life they are living you can see they are not fully yielded to the will of God that kind of testimony will not take you to heaven awon kan wa ti a ba nsoro nipa igbala wa na wo soke wa ma je ri pe nipa ori ofi olorun odun gbo oro bayi bayi ni mo ti de ni igbala nigba ti olusu agotan wa asu bayi bayi ni mo de ni igbala bi won se nto ka si odun ti won de ni igbala abajade aye won o nta ku eri won bi o ti ri nipa ti igbala be ni awon kan wa nipa ti so di mimo pelu won ni odun bayi awon de ni igbala odun bayi awon ni so di mimo odun bayi awon ni baptism emi mimo eri ti won si nje yen igbe aye won ibinu ija aran kan gbogbo ele n je jade ninu aye won iru eri be otu ba nte ni in first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 7 thessalonica kin ni ori kerin ese ke ni you will see the purpose of god the calling of god upon our life wa ri eti olorun ilepo olorun ti o fi pe wa ni pe to pe wa god has not called us unto uncleanness but unto holiness oni ni tori olorun ko pe wa fun iwa iri sugba ni wa mimo 
that's a calling of God for you and for me. He wants you and I to be holy. He wants us to be pure. Pure within, pure without. And it is something he can do and he will do it for us tonight in Jesus' name. And then as you look at first Peter chapter three. First Second Peter rather chapter three. And in verse thirteen. He says, Nevertheless, we according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. In that is your expectation. What should be your life today? What should be your experience today? Verse 11 and verse 14. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? In verse 14, wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless, without blame. That means we have a part to play, we have something to do if we're going to get that holiness. It means uh, you're looking for real, complete devotedness unto God. You're pursuing it, you are aiming at it, you are praying for it, you are consecrating for it, and you will not stop until you see that the Spirit of God is bearing testimony with your heart. You are now coming to conformity with the image of Christ. Only pare, only ni bogo ona. Only pare, titi riri yofi wani no akare. Ti ami alone yofi ma ba akare. Jari pe ni ba yi edalon ti wano re. You want your obedience to the Lord, not only superficial obedience. Uh, you don't want it to be external obedience alone. You want it to be total obedience to the Lord, uncompromising obedience to the Lord, unreserved obedience to the Lord that is fully, absolutely yielded unto the Lord. Lord. That's what you are seeking. That's what you are pursuing. And until it becomes yours, you will not rest. Only by ignorance, your Lord. You want to be totally conformed to his image to the point that you have the possession of the divine image within you. Oh, my father, I will not compromise this stand on holiness with anybody, anytime, for any. There are people that may hate you, there are people that may persecute you because you are for holiness. As one of the old time preachers uh, have said, he said it is infinitely better to have the old world, the whole world for our enemies and God for our friend, rather than to have the whole world for your friends and God to be your enemy. Gaga be a downy was so cut his saw. Only also did the giddy Latin go by any or tower. Cassini or Lorony or Rewa, you pay. He's saying that this holiness message is something you cannot bargain with anybody. Because in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14, it says, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. We come to that last part without which no man shall see the Lord. Number one, you should be a sincere believer that believes the word of God and you know that though heaven and earth pass away, the word of God will not pass away. 
la koko na o ye ko o je oni gbagbo ti o so tinu rin tabi ti o je ni ti o gba gbogbo oro olorun gbo pe aye ati orun le re koja lo sugbon kin kin ninu oro olorun ko ni koja lai se you need to understand the characteristics of god the nature of god that god once he has spoken and he says that this is the uh, yardstick by which he will judge all men you know that nothing will change god that god will not change his standard god will not change his principle god will not change his word man will have to change and be conformed to the word of god god will never change and conform his standard unto the principles and practice of men. Back on now, lo ye ki o ye olor ko ye o ko si ma abudare. We pe ni ti yi a ye da ye da. Oh, le back by the Lord of Lord. Ni ti pe olor ti soro. On ti olor o ba sonye, o ti duo gbae, ti ti lai lai. On konto u ko sele. E ni ya ni yo yi pa da. La ti wa sin ti or olor o ba so. So gba ni ti olor o, olor o ko ne yi pa da si la na ti This word of God is telling us that coming to church is not enough. Or olor o wa so fa kwe kama wa so sin ye o tu. Without holiness no. He's telling us that water baptism, Lord's Supper, I take the Lord's Supper in my church, that's not enough. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. He's telling us that I'm a pastor, I'm a preacher, that's not enough. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. I'm a leader, I'm a coordinator, I'm a worker, that one does not come to this realm when it comes to going into heaven when it comes into entering into the pearly gates it says without holiness no man shall see the Lord this one goes beyond the deliverance ministry in the new church I'm going to there is deliverance ministry they give us deliverance every time miracles are taking place healing is taking place and whatever the power of the devil they break the yoke this one goes beyond that without holiness no man shall see the Lord this one goes beyond I give my tithes, I give my offering and any time there is something in the church an event coming up, I can sell my house, I can sell everything I have and give all the money I have for the work of God. This is not money matter without holiness no man shall see the Lord. If you have seen a glimpse of heaven, and if you have also heard about the terrors and the agonies of hell, if you have never seen that, tell your coordinator to show you the film born in hell. And after showing you that, let them show you about the rapture and about heaven. If you really want to see those glories of heaven, and you want to enter into heaven, and it is your desire, and you know that once you miss that heaven, and you are in hell, it is forever and ever and ever, because there is no returning, there is no coming back from there, it will be your determination that come what may, whatever may happen, fire may be burning here on earth, there may be storm here on earth, or sickness or problem here on earth, there is one thing, I will not miss heaven. 
o ni pe ogun orun ile wura ni pe o fe debe to je pe o fe padanu re tori ko yi ope to ba lo padanu re orun apadi gbere lai lai ni ko se ki so orun arema bo ni nitori na gbogbo to ba ma gba ni wa bi mu lati le gbe igbe aye wa mi mo and if when you get to heaven five minutes in heaven you will forget all your tears you will forget all your sorrows you will forget all the problems on earth all the things you are calling difficulty here mountain here problem here only five minutes in heaven you will forget everything and then one year two years ten years hundred years a thousand years a million years ten million years forever and ever you will see me in heaven why wouldn't you pay any price that needs to be paid for you to enter into that place ni se ju ma ro pere ti o ba yo saju le orun gbogbo ekun ati inira ati awon nkan to npe ni jiya oke ni wa la lorun iseju ma ro pere ni laju le olorun eleyi o mu egbagbe gbogbo inira nibe wa ma runu re wakati kan odun kan ogorun odun egbe run odun billion odun ko wa nibe titi aye raye If the Lord should tell us now that there is no Bible study, no more Bible study, no more service, no more retreat, the time is up now. Everybody appear before the judgment seat of God. Where will you be? Ti Olorun ba so fun wa yi pe o to ge bayi. Ko se kan bibeli mo, ko si ipago mo, ko si ipade kankan mo, gbogbo wa bayi. If the trumpet shall sound now, as I'm here on the pulpit, if the Lord said this is the last message, now say, Lord, come over onto the other side, come and tell me everything that has happened, private life, public life, open life, external life, hidden life, come and show me everything. Where would I be? If the Lord shall call you now, and say, that's enough, Go to church, pay your tithes, give him offering, go in for retreat, do evangelism, go in to pray, go doing deliverance, healing the sick. That's enough. Well, tell me, come and tell me what you have done. Have you followed peace with all men? Are you fighting with everybody around? Are you the one they are setting quarrels for every day? Are you following this holiness? This holiness, without which no man shall see. The Lord. Blessed are the pure in heart. Only they shall see the Lord. The question is, where will you be on that day? You are with us tonight. Will you be with us in heaven? Will you be with Jesus in heaven? Will you be there on that day? Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Why don't you stand up and tell the Lord? Stand up on your feet. 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 Open your heart to the Lord. Do you have it? Do you know the Lord? Do you follow peace with all men? Are you holy? Are you pure? Are you righteous? Are you consecrated? Are you devoted? Is your heart clean? Are you pure with it? Are you pure with her? Are you pure with women? Are you pure with men? Are you free from conventiousness? Are you touching somebody? Are you faithful? Are you sincere? Are you honest? Are you are you doing something that you are doing in the presence of God? Are your hands clean? Is your heart clean? Are you pure within and pure without? If the Lord shall call you home now, are you ready to go with the Lord? Follow peace with all men. Pursue peace with all men. Run after peace with all men. Be at peace with all. Amen. And holiness without which no man shall see the Lord.